Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Check this out. This is the GEP RC Cine Log 20 and it has the DJI 03 camera recording system and transmission system all in one in this tiny little quad. Now this quad is designed for indoor flying. It is a pusher drone. It's a Cine Whoop and uh, I am really looking forward to flying this indoors. But there's some ice fishing going on so I've heard and uh, it's very early morning. You can see the sun is just coming up here and I'm going to go out to where the ice fishing is happening and uh, see if I can fly this over and we'll take a look at the huts that are out on the ice. So uh, let's do that now. Here we go. All right, it's freezing cold out here at the moment. It is minus 20 degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Well, I'll put it up here someplace. Check it out. That means if I take my little fingers here, exposed skin, and I go out in this cold, I'm going to get frostbite probably under a minute. It's, it's kind of cold. Anyways, I want to fly out here because back there, there's a bunch of people ice fishing. Ice fishing season really hasn't begun because the ice is not fully thick enough to support all the weight. But apparently I see some huts out there. So I'm going to go take the little guy, which I have heating. I have the motor on in the Jeep. It's heating up with the batteries uh, right there as well. So they're all warming up and uh, then I'm going to go out and freeze my rear end off and fly this thing. Here we go. For this flight, I'm using the DJI Remote 2, so I'll just power it on. That's on, and I'm using the DJI FPV Goggles 2 for this flight. Power these on. Battery, power on. So let's plug it in and get it all set to go. There you go. That GoPro should catch it going up in the air. Next, we got to put some gloves on these figures. All right, I can't fly with full gloves on or... Uh, mitts or anything like that so I'm gonna put these little type of uh, I don't know these little kid gloves things on now the bad thing is in order to put the goggles on the hat's got to go and my earmuffs and everything well, anyways it's gonna be cold this is not gonna be a long flight so that goes off glasses go off I'll put those in here all right it's not a long flight not a long flight Okay. Oh, beautiful video. Oh my God. I love the image in these goggles. If this thing falls out of the sky, I am not going to look for it. It's in angle mode. We want to go into acro mode, air mode. There we go. It's armed. It's very quiet. Over my head, almost smashed into my head. Looking good. I can already see that my battery is depleting quickly due to, well, the weight and the cold out here, even though I warmed it up. Here's our giant fish. This one, we have wind issues. It just gets destroyed and blown away. But uh, it's out here because this is just part of the location. I have no idea what it is. All right, here we go. The props on this drone, I just noticed they're not designed for, uh, you know, diving down at the ground and then jumping back up super quick. No way. These props, these props are basically just designed to go nice and slow as I'm doing here. I'm watching, watching the voltage. Ooh, the voltage is getting a little low. It doesn't like the cold. It doesn't like the cold. So I'm going to come back a little bit. Oh, no, the voltage is good. I've got two. I'm looking at the cell voltage. All right. Oh, I'm getting a flash. Low battery. Anyways, I'm just going to fly back. Low battery here. Yes, I know. I'll fly back someplace that I could find this if it crashed into the snow with the cold. Ooh, I'll bring it closer to me. It just scares me. It's just so cold out that the batteries will not last. Okay. Come back to me. There we go. We got rid of that low battery, so I'm going to buzz around here. This way I can go walk out here and find it. So a lot of people are wondering if this little guy can do freestyle, so I'll take it up a little bit. There we go. Little spin that way, little spin that way, a little forward flip this way, nice and slow, and of course a backwards flip. There we are. All is good. I'm getting lots of low batteries now from doing all that freestyle, but that's okay. I'm checking my voltage. It's coming back. So if you're not used to FPV, what happens is when you use a power or you gun it for a while, your voltage will drop. And then if you fly smoothly, it should go back up. So that's what I'm waiting for to go back up. But in this cold, it takes a long time to go back up. I'm getting all these flashing notices on my screen that it's too cold out here. So yeah. So anyways, let's go over here for a bit. It's, I'm getting low battery warnings everywhere, but that's okay. This battery here, it was fully charged, so we should be okay. Going through this area, and uh, yeah, go explore with this. And go over these guys, Chunk. and then back over here. I told you it was gonna be a short flight. <laughs> here we go. I could hear little voices beside me, so somebody's over there, I'm gonna buzz us.
there we go. Somebody just noticed the little quad going around. This way, it's not bad. I'm getting tons of low batteries, but uh, I'm still flying with the low battery. So, because if it falls out of the sky, I'm in all sorts of good areas for it to fall out of the sky. I can easily get it. Here we go down this road. I'm picking up some speed. I should be really draining the battery down here. Yeah, but it's still going, still going. All right, whoa, I <laughs> didn't see those electrical power lines until the last second. Let's come under that. There they are up there, yikes. All right, I can hear a car starting beside me, so that car is leaving shortly. So I'll bring this back to me. It's a really good little, little buzzing drone in the summertime. I'm gonna have a blast with this thing. But uh, yeah, so I've got everything on the screen going nuts now. Just saying, yeah, your battery's getting pretty low. So let's go over here and uh, come nice and low to me. Why well, didn't go that? Oh, the battery died. There we go, frozen. So I'll disarm it and I have to go get it before that battery turns into mush and everything else. All right, so good thing I was close to me because if that would have went way out there, oh crap, I'd have to go look for it for quite some ways. Now I know it's around here. I walked right by it. It's right over there. Do you see it? It looks like a snowball thundered in. Coming up to it, coming up to it. Walking, look where I'm, I'm walking in ground. I'm not sure what's below me. Am I going to sink through the ice? I hope not. And there we are, but all right. Take you. First thing you do when you pull a drone out of the snow, you have all that snow. If the snow is not melted on the drone, the electronics are perfectly fine. So it's very cold today, they're not melted. So I pull that out. Now I can go tap all the snow out and it'll be good for another flight. But don't let any of the snow in there melt on the battery or any of the electronics. All right, next thing to do is take this and stick this back up here. So the heat coming up from the Jeep should melt everything and dry everything on my journey home. All right, here I am back indoors. I've been back for about an hour. Most of the ice in the water is off this. Well, it better be because I'm about to fly it. The way I usually get water and stuff out of my drone products that I fly in the wintertime in the snow is I'll take this with me. This is a little, it's like a leaf blower, portable, rechargeable that you take with you has two speeds on it. It can also operate as a vacuum cleaner. There's an attachment that goes on it. I got it off of Amazon. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Take this little nozzle, you have two speeds. The speed one. Blows out a lot of air. Speed two. Blows out a heck of a lot of air. So if there's any water in there, moisture, it will blow it out with this. I also use this whenever I update the DJI air units. Doesn't matter if it's the old version one, version two, or the new version three, they get hot. And when they're sitting on your table by your laptop or computer doing an update, they get really hot. So what I do is I take this little unit, I put it on low power, blows on the air unit, and it keeps it cool, and I never get a fail on the updates. So it works great. All right, so enough about that. Uh, I'll put a link to this product below. I've had it for quite a while, and I do love it. So let's get back to the Cine Log 20. Now, if you're not familiar with the Cine Log 20, they do make a Cine Log 25, a Cine Log 30, and a Cine Log 35. Notice how they get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's because the number at the end, you know, the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, is basically inches. So 35 is 3.5 inch props, 30 would be three inch props, 25 is 2.5 inch props, and you got it. The 20 is two inch props. The whole line of Cine Log FPV quads from GetRC are all Cine whoops, and they are all pusher drones, and a pusher drone just means the motors are reversed so that you can fly along a cushion of air along the ground and not use a lot of battery power. They can also usually, usually carry more weight due to having that configuration. The claim to fame with the Cine logs for the most part, at least as far as I can tell, is this beautiful cushioning system they have up front. If you put an external camera on the drone in the forward section, there's vibration dampening up front. In addition, they usually hook that vibration dampener to the onboard camera. So you can see in the front, there's dampening on the camera as well. So they make these things, all these Cine logs are all made so that whatever camera you stick on top or the camera in the front uh, gives you jello free images. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering about range of this little guy. Well, it has the potential to go 10 kilometers in range, but if you're new to the FPV hobby, you go, wow, that's pretty cool. However, in the FPV hobby, range is determined by many factors. In this case, it would be determined by the battery. 
So there's no way you can place a battery on this that would allow you to fly 10 kilometers out and come all the way back. You'd run out of power before you even got too far. This takes like a 600 milliamp hour light bulb battery. You're not gonna break any flight records with this drone, like getting over 10 minutes of flight time with any battery you stick on top. It's not designed for that. Everything GetBarC says about this drone, it's all about the indoor flight. They are, they are launching this as one of the best indoor drones you could possibly buy because it has a DJI O3 camera. Now, of course, most of you watching would love to get this with the DJI O3 camera, but that adds more to the price because it is the best of the best of the best. You're getting Mavic quality image up front. So they also sell this with a CineLog HD Wasp using the Runcam Wasp camera. I've reviewed that before. It's digital, but it's definitely not the O3 system that's on here and now. You can also go Woxnail if you have a set of Wax Snail goggles, it, they sell it with a Wax Snail camera and they also sell it with an analog camera. So if you want to spend the least amount of money, get the analog version and uh, you'll get all the same thing except your camera will be analog and your video transmission system is all based on analog. The brushless motors on here are 5500 kV and it is an F4, very modern F4 flight controller on this unit. So that's why it flies so well. So I'm going to fly it around the house here and uh, see how it does indoors. So here we go. Okay, first things first, power on my radio. That powers up. Now, a lot of people watching, if you're new to the FPV hobby, you're like, wow, I love DJI products because I fly Mavics and all sorts of things like that. And you're used to a controller similar to this. And it does hook up nicely to the DJI O3 system. That's all it hooks up to, nothing else. Now, say you're in the RC hobby and you have an RC radio, like a high quality radio. This is not a high quality radio by any stretch of the imagination. But say you have a high quality radio. If I look on their website, you can also get this with uh, an FR Sky RXSR receiver in it. You can get it with a Crossfire receiver, which is really good. And you can get it with an ELRS receiver. So depending on what you have for a radio, that's what you can get. Now for the indoor flight, I'm going to use this little 550 milliamp hour 4S light bulb battery. Okay, I got to turn my chair this way. I've placed the quad right over here. I don't know. Oh, that GoPro over there. We'll see it. So that's great. All right, let's relax and sit back and take this baby for a flight. Here we go. Going up. Going through the walls, as I call it, going through the kitchen, into my living room. And let's go all the way down through the living room, take it nice and slow. You gotta make sure you don't do too much up and down when flying this. So in other words, very slow movements on the joysticks, coming around. There we are, coming back. There we are. Don't hit the walls down this skinny hallway. Get through that quickly. And let's go all the way over here. And then I'll spin around. Do a 180. Watch out for my ceiling. And come back to me. I don't know where I'll land this because I'll probably plop it right in my face. Coming back. Go through my messy, messy house. There I am over here. Still flying. This thing is super easy to fly. As you've probably noticed already. I look pretty relaxed. I come on over to the lights. Watch me crash it right now. I right, come on over here and uh, break it down here. Blink! You know, if I open my patio door back there, I could take it outdoors. I wonder what the transmission is like. I'm sitting in the center of my house and going all the way that way to outdoors in my backyard. Oh, I hope I don't have to go get it, but let's try this. All right, let's open. There we go. Let's open this patio door. <laughs> if this falls in the snow out there, I've got socks on. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. <sighs> Gotta make it through. Ooh, it's cold. All right, let's get this on. We're going to do the outdoor flight. And uh, here we go. Going up again. Slow it down. Okay, you want to go this way? I don't want to go this way, but we're going to go this way. Now we're out. <laughs> I did not want to go that way. It's almost like I have too much power now. All right, but uh, here I'm outdoors. This is me flying around the house. There's the beautiful house. Uh, I don't know what's above me. I don't know if there's any tree branches, but here, I'll just take it up. Go look at my roof at this time of the year. That definitely looks uh, like I have snow on the roof. It's winter time. Oh, the moon's out. There's something up in the sky I can see. All right. So now I gotta bring it back this way without hitting the snow. Whoa, branches there. Keep that up. All right, so let's bring it back over to my little area here. I'll try to keep it going nice and slow. And let's go over by the burr feeder, turn it this way, 180. There's the entrance. 
Coming back. Keep it slow. Try not to crash. Let's go this way. Oh, hit the wall. Good thing there's little uh, prop guards on here. Let's go around this way. Pretty cool, eh? That you can fly indoors, outdoors with this thing. And then come around this way. It's very forgiving. I will say that. It's very forgiving. All right. So uh, let's come on this way. You can see me right there. Then we're going to come up over the camera, over my legs. So I'm going to unplug this. And uh, how about I show you what comes in the box if you get this. Check this out. Here we have the box that the CineLog 20 comes in. These are the specifications of the CineLog 20 I used in this review. Opening the box, you'll find the quad and accessories. Apparently it comes vacuum packed for freshness. Here we have the top of the CineLog 20. You'll notice the size in relation to my hands. And here we have the bottom. Mine is the version with the DJI 03 unit in it. And you notice the camera is very large. A DJI 5.8 and 2.4 long range antenna is included. If you buy batteries, make sure they have an XT30 battery connector. You'll notice that a good portion of the CineLog 20 is made from carbon fiber. The CineLog 20 has a great vibration dampening system, so you should not get jello in your images. The props are Emacs Avon Micro, two inch props. The brushless motors are 1303.5 at 5500 kV. The F4 35 amp flight controller is hidden just above the DJI 03 system and the DJI 03 transmission and recording system sits in the center bottom of the quad. Foam bumpers are placed all around the prop guard so you don't mark up your walls when flying indoors. Total weight of the CineLog 20 with no battery is 136 grams. If you add a super large 1100 milliamp hour 4S battery, you're still under 250 grams. Accessories include a spare set of props, a spare set of foam bumpers, double-sided tape to place the foam bumpers on the quad, a spare battery strap, additional items in case you install a different receiver. You also receive battery grips and bottom foam protectors, as well as a series of nuts and screws. Documentation includes that for the DJI 03 air unit, as well as the F4 flight controller and some product support and stickers, as well as a GetRC keychain. All right, my final thoughts on the CineLog 20. I love it. I know, I know, I love all the quads that I fly, but this one here I really like because it's an indoor, outdoor quad. More for indoors than outdoors, but you saw I took it out today and it was pretty good. I only have two negatives, two negatives on this. Number one, the spot for the micro SD card. I'm a guy who likes to record stuff, take the micro SD card out, put it in my laptop or my computer, take the files off, then put the micro SD card back in. This design where the micro SD card is located, it's kind of under one of these prop guards. You can get the micro SD card in really easy, but when you push it in to pop it out, it pops out and hits the prop guard, stops it from coming out. So you got to bend the prop guard and then try to pull out the micro SD card. That's the only negative I have for that. Second negative is it's a beautiful little quad, but the flight time is not massive. It's not a massive flight time on this. You're looking at five minutes, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can change the batteries. You might only get four minutes sometimes, three minutes. Uh, you might be able to push it to six minutes, depending on the configuration of battery you use and how you fly. It's definitely not a long flyer. It's definitely worth it though, because the camera is so darn good on this thing and you can fly it pretty much anywhere because it's so tiny, it goes in and out of things. So with all that said, you know, I give it a thumbs up. I like it. And uh, I'm sure if you get this one, you're going to love it. So I will put the links to this product below. Go check it out. I'll put a link to this little vacuum <laughs> or air pusher thingy because I think it's pretty cool for what I use it for. And you can check that as well. Now, with all that said, I say thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with many more product reviews. Until then, I say bye.